Hi, and welcome to another Popper and Stickbait video. Uh, well, this video is also being shown on my other channel, which is Lure Fishing for Rass. I'll try and put a link in the description below for that. So today, what have we got? We've got some split ring plies. So I've just come back from a holiday. Uh, these have been in my fighting belt for a whole week. Um, I'll talk about the pouch first of all. They don't, don't come with a pouch, and this stinger is what comes with the pouch. So this is a Fritchie pouch. Um, it's really good actually. Um, they'll take pretty much any split rings. As you can see, it's sort of semi-rigid. The buckle on the back does allow it to be orientated in any way you want. That's the only thing I didn't like about this. Um, I did find every now and again on my belt that I find the sheath that way up. So now I've done this video, I'm going to be putting some uh, epoxy on that and sealing it that way for life. So anyway, coming on to the split ring pliers. So these are by, as you can see, Temple Reef. Um, and they are well, you can see that the logo has gone a little bit rusty there. So as I said, these have been on my belt for a week. Um, so I was out in the Maldives, heavy popping and medium popping, um, as, along with also some, some trawling as well. Um, they're very nice pliers. They do these in two sizes. So this is the heavy, so 100 to 300 pound. Um, they have, they're sprung loaded. They've got nice handles on them um, and they're pre-drilled as well, which is good. Um, the actual cutter, it's not an angled cutter as such, but it does cut mono really, really well. Um, the grooves there, if anything, I used those for um, squashing barbs. I had a couple of lures that I hadn't squashed barbs down, so obviously I squashed those down straight away. I've yet to work out that what that notch there is for, because when you're using these for split rings, nothing goes in there. But anyway, um, so they open split rings, split rings really well, the big ones. If you're then trying to get onto anything small, and I found even though they stay 100 pound ones, I found it a bit difficult. Um, so is there any anything I can tell you about on the back? Uh, da, 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 da. No, nothing particularly of interest there. Um, but as they as they, they do say, um, they're, they're a must-have for any angler who wants to upgrade, upgrade their fishing gear. Um, so, as I said, I had these on my belt for a week. Um, on day the last day, I took them off and I put on, for a comparison, my faithful HPA heavy split ring pliers. These things are awesome. Simple as that. Um, I bought these, the Temple Reef ones, to be as a, um, a backup. And you can see there, these have a thinner tip compared to the Temple Reef ones, which have a slightly thicker one, which means that the HPA ones, they'll open 300 pound rings all day long without any issues at all. But they'll also open smaller ones, which is really, really good. Um, just going back to the sheath. They go in there really nicely. They're held as well. The only thing against the HPA one, I'll try and put a link to the HPA uh, review video I've done as well, is when you put them in sometimes, that happens. So even though they're designed for you to put um, scissors in that part, um, that folds down. So I might end up using this pouch only and not using this one. But going back to the important thing. Um, so yes, Temple Reef ones, would I recommend them? Um, yes, they are a bit cheaper than the HPA ones. If you're only going to have one pair, I would point you at the HPA ones. I personally think they're a better plier, especially, as I said, now having given these a thorough test and decided as to what they are. But they're my backup ones, so that's where they're going to live. Um, if you have enjoyed this video, please don't hesitate to give me a thumbs up. Please do comment. Um, if you've got any comments below, I'll answer them as soon as I can. And please do subscribe to the channel. Many thanks now. Bye-bye.